Joining us today right now is a man known by many names. He's been known as Dunker's Delight. He's known as Obi's dad, Obi's <laughs> senior. The one and only Obadiah Toppin is joining us right here hey, on MSGPM. What's going on, Obi? How you feeling? I'm feeling good. I everything's all right. It's good, it's good to yeah. have you. He's got, listen, man, you see him, and you're like, the apple don't fall too far from the tree. You can see exactly. Bro, it's eerie. Oh, yeah. I'm hearing you and look. I hope my jeans are that strong, brother. I hope my jeans are that strong. Because I'm like, wow, this is jeans are a beautiful thing, man. That's it's right. good to have the pedigree of New York street ball in the building. That's you know? right, Obi. So Appreciate talk about it, man. Obviously, Duncan's Delight is a nickname that wasn't given to you. It was earned yeah, through yeah, the yeah. courts of not just New York City, but all over the world. You've played in Dykeman before. Yes. What is that yeah. Dykeman environment like when you go to play there? Oh, yeah, it's it's crazy. I mean, the um the people there, uh, they everywhere, up in the bleachers, sitting up on the, the roofs and mm. stuff. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a crazy atmosphere. You know, Obi, uh, your son has, has stolen the hearts of everyone in New York City with his high-flying acro acrobatics. But for folks who may not be hip, you better recognize or remember who you're talking to because the apple don't fall too far from the tree. We got a couple of highlights of Duncan's Delight throwing, throwing it down right now. If we could, we could roll that real quick. Let's see some of these. Look, look at this. Hey. Catching on the reverse. I mean, none of that is easy, bro. Like, none of that is easy. You make it look effortless. Oh, my goodness. Shout out to my boys at Hoops in the Sun, Randy Cruz, out there on Orchard Beach. Yes. Uh, <laughs> dunkers delight. I mean, oh, ah, my goodness. That's, it's kay. too small. It's too small. <laughs> talk, talk me through some of these dunks. Um... <laughs> My thing is, I, I love Duncan, so uh, <laughs> I, I was always in tune with the uh, with the point guard. So, you know, uh, we always could read each other. You know, that's why I, I love having a good point guard because uh, he call, he he knows how I will run the floor. You know, he knows when to read to throw the ball up there and stuff like that. So, yeah. It was awesome. I know he, lo he loves how to dunk because all I see is two-handed dunk. <laughs> That's what I know. The people who love how to dunk, one-handed dunks are cool, um, but two-handed is with the authority, the yeah. power in it, everything. So, mm -hmm. you know, you, you grew up and you made your name on the street ball court. What defines street ball culture to you? Um, it's, it's where you come from. It's the hunger um, that the guys have out there, you know. Um, my thing was just coming up from where we from, from Bushwick Houses, you know, um, we want to get out of Bushwick Houses. Mm -hmm. So um, our outlets was Dykeman and all the other uh, big tournaments that we was in. So um, we just love going there, uh, playing basketball, uh, seeing everybody else there, that, uh, and they all hungry. So the competition was very, you know, uh, fierce with each other. So mm. um, it was hard to play out there because, you, you know, sometimes you had to have a name, <laughs> you know, and if you wasn't known yet, you have to wait till you get on a team to be right. able to show your skill out there. Right. You know, and you can't um, lose too. You, you can't lose, no, no, you can't triggering. lose. This is true. <laughs> you can't right lose now. because like, nah. Everything is facts. <laughs> yeah, because the uh, the crowd, you know, like I said, the crowd is the atmosphere out there is beautiful, because um, the crowd will keep you on your toes. The mm -hmm. announcers will keep you on your toes. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, it was just it was a joy to play out there. You said the competition is fierce, and that's the yeah. one thing I knew. When you play street ball, it's like no blood, no foul. Right. There's no ticky-tack fouls. You're not getting it, it, no right. charges. Right. You ain't taking no charges, right. nothing like that. Talk to me about that type of that, that rugged play. Like, you knew yeah. that the mentality that you had to be in in order to ball on the streets of New York. Right, yeah, because it, um, you knew the competition you was playing against. You know, every every everybody want to eat, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> so, um... It was just, just, you know, and then you had people that, you had guys that was actually friends mm. and they was competing against each other. Mm. And when they was competing against each other, it was like, you know, we friends after this. Oh, yeah. yeah. Take, yeah, take your head off in between yes. the 94 feet. Right, 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 right. 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 After you know. that. Now, now, earlier you mentioned uh, you got to have a name if you, mm. wouldn't, if you weren't going to win on that court, right? right? To get on that court. Right. Especially a court like Dykeman, Orchard Park, I mean, uh, Orchard Park. Beach, mm -hmm. like all these incredibly famed parks. Uh, out of all these places you've played at, who is the best player you've ever played against? 
Mm, that's all I want. Because I, I um, and it doesn't have to be just one. You could, you yeah, can, yeah. You can I, 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 I played against a lot of great players. I played against Allen Iverson, Stephon Marbury, mm. Jermaine O'Neal, um, mm. Sean Marion. You know, uh, Baron Davis. He's just naming all, all, se- all yeah. NBA seventy five guys. Yeah. Right? Well, I'm like, you check, know, check, and check. then <laughs> and then um, all the guys that I used to play with on and um, and one tours. Oh right, shout you out to know. the and one tape. Yeah, uh, like documentary uh, that just dropped on ESPN. Check that out. That right, was fantastic. Like, to see. Um, Ray for off, um, Ray for Austin. Skip to my loop. Mm-hmm. You know, um, guys like Alamo. So um, these guys, I, I, I you know. I consider it was great, great players to play against. Mm-hmm. You know, um, the experience that the guys had from the, the league, you know, and um, guys like Skip Tamalu who had the experience on a street ball level. Yep, mm-hmm. yep. You know, but, Especially at that time, too. Yeah. I, know, I know people were just checking out the documentary on uh, ESPN, right. the 30 for 30, and people may not realize that the players on the court, even though they weren't in the NBA, right. The competition was extremely fierce, yes. and yes. street ball at, at that time was bigger than some NBA games yeah. at some oh, yeah. point. Yes. You know? yes. Oh yeah, for yes. sure. It was awesome. Look, for those who may not know, put us on to let, let us know, how did you get the nickname Dunk is Delight? Dunk is Delight. Um, yes, I was, I was playing with a, uh, a Florida team called um, Court Kings. Mm-hmm. They was like a... a uh, Christian traveling team, and um, it was a it was a, 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 a alley that I had little. Um, mm. I had Obi at the time, little Obi. Yeah. Little Obi. You little. Know, um, where I think y'all have a video of it where he threw uh, the ball off the backboard. Oh, nice! And I had, and I had dunked it. Nice. Mm. You know, um, and then it was other tournaments that we played that that uh, I had my son there. Guys like Pat the Rock. Mm-hmm. Uh, one one time he had kicked the ball off the back of his heel and it hit off the backboard and I caught it and windmilled it, Ooh. you know. And then uh, the Steve Nash, he started the... giving me yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it was called um, Court Kings that gave me the name um, Dunk is the Light and I um I ran with it. Now Obadiah, you mentioned how uh, Lil Obi helped you mm-hmm. with a dunk before, and I see the hoodie, mm-hmm. the hair for a reason. I seen the back yeah. of it <laughs> as well. How much have you helped with Obi and his dunks? Um, with Obi, Obi kind of picked up on his dunks. His own, like he learned dunking through observing, watching me play. Because everywhere I played, he was there, you know. So Obi seen every dunk that I used to do. Mm-hmm. And Obi just picked it up and just started dunking. I mean, yeah. <laughs> he just started dunking. Yeah. <laughs> so, so putting it very lightly, yeah, yeah I think, I think uh, he picked up a few tricks of the trade uh, from old Pops over there. And once, and once, and once he started dunking, then every time he wanted to try to dunk on me. So, <laughs> right, right, right. He wanted to dunk on no, me. I don't, I don't want to bring it up, but like, has he, has he called, you, called, called a um, um, No, he ain't <laughs> catching me. <laughs> not yet. Well, not know. yet. We do know that he, he is trying to challenge, you know, at that oh, yes. point where he's like, whether well, it's the older brother or your pops, at some point oh, yeah. you're, you, you have to conquer in order to be, be the man, right? Yeah. So in, in ter- with that, with you, him wanting to dunk on you, mm. but we also know that he wanted to include you in the dunks. Two yes. years ago, he wanted to dunk over you. That was awesome. You keep it real with me. You, know, you the pop, so you can keep it real, right? <laughs> How nervous were you, if you were nervous at all, when he was setting that dunk up? Um... I wasn't nervous at all, you know. Uh, I I know what Obi could do, mm-hmm. you know. So uh, no, I, I I wasn't I wasn't nervous, you know. Um, I didn't know he was gonna do that though. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you, that even it with you, you, awesome, you were though. stoic. Uh-huh. You were stoic yeah. with it, like you was calm, like mm-hmm. you had that confidence. I know you not you not lie. You didn't tell no lies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that was oh, that was an awesome dunk. Though. Man, I would love to see that. Now, last question, really quickly. Uh, we got to see Obi play a lot more towards the end of the season. Yeah. How intense is it for you to watch your son play, especially in these extended minutes? Um, I love I love seeing Obi play. Uh, Watching them, you know, develop, mm-hmm. uh, uh, getting mature in the game, learning the game, mm-hmm. loving, having a passion for the game, you know, uh, just watching them, watching them is awesome. That's what it is, man. Obadiah Top and the one and only Dunk mm-hmm. is the light. Thank you so much for kicking it nah, with us nah, right nah, here. I appreciate, appreciate it. Yes, sir.